For Vivian Paul Igbo, who lived for 55 years, her earthly journey may have ended, but her impact will endure further, according to testimonies from those who knew her. On behalf of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my family, I write to convey our sincere and fair condolences to you, the Igbo and the Tengia families. She was the one that was like the glue who was binding us together. Even when there was a disagreement or little squabbles in the family, Vivian always stood out as that person that will hold the family together. She was indeed a virtuous woman, a praying warrior, my just partner, a helper indeed. She was a beacon of light, an embodiment of love, kindness and grace. She conceived and nurtured a lifelong dream of imparting excellence and best values into every child around her. Auntie, good night. Rest in the bosom of God till we meet the depart no more. For Governor Romano, the deceased was a blessing to those who associated with her as he recounted his experience with Vivian while praying her soul eternal repose. On behalf of the government and people of Aquarium State, I join your family, friends, associates to console and condole you on the painful and sad passing of your beloved wife. The passing of a spouse is an emotionally wrenching experience, especially at such a relatively young age. And we share your pain deeply and profoundly. As painful and sad as this moment of bereavement may be to you and your family, I urge you to be consoled by the ennobling ideals her short but impactful life had represented. A biography read by her daughter, Ekemini, described the deceased as a woman of many parts who both in public service and private life exemplified virtue. She attained this great height because she made her life a huge investment in people and her existence a big contribution to humanity. The sterling qualities of humility, kindness and hospitality made it possible for her to relate and connect seamlessly with the both high and the low in the society. Notwithstanding the grief in her departure, her husband, Obong Paul Ekbo, said Vivian remains his life's greatest blessing as he recounted their 23 years marital journey. It is the will of God that Vivian should go to rest. But we men feel so stressed to see how such a wonderful woman will not be by my side. And so it's always difficult for me to say goodnight. But the obvious is that I must say goodnight. Because after today, I will never see her again. We will only live with good legacies, the good memories, the testimonies that men and women bequeath by the virtue of the relationship they have had with her while she was alive. The funeral, which featured prayers for the bereaved family, was conducted by Winners Chapel, whose state pastor, John Adelecon, charged the people on impactful living. Samuel Ayara, AKBC News.